Alright, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning up around Riverside because I noticed that while uh, driving back and forth between this house and my, my new home over here, there are quite a lot of zombies around the area. And I, want, I really want to take care of them to ensure that the moving process is as painless as possible. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our sawed off Mossberg 500 and we are going to go clean up the streets of Riverside. Here we go. Case in point, some of these zombies are walking into my lawn. And into the general neighborhood. very much prefer that these uh that they didn't we'll save our shotgun for um larger groups and until then if i really wanted if i if i wanted to i think i could probably fit the um sawed off shotgun into my holster if i shot if i sawed off the stock of it um, but we're going to refrain from that for now because I think it might screw with our accuracy. Might, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going to, you know, head on out and start popping off. We have over, we have about a hundred shells and we're kind of hungry, so we'll just eat this egg. Pocket egg. Use the knife on him. Oh, and that's that's my knife. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. And also, short blade is a good thing to level up. There we go. All right, that's gonna bring him in. In fact, we're gonna. <laughs> I did not see you. Oh, there's a lot of them in the school. Uh, um, can I shoot them from here? I can get all three of them. All right, sweet. Oh, and there's more. Okay, I'll try to get that. Bam. sworn there was more of them. They might have migrated. I mean, obviously they migrated. I also just realized I didn't put my phone on silent, but whatever. Oh, I need that. So that's level three aiming, which means we now hold guns better. And not like an idiot. Let's see what's in the church. The door is unlocked, so this church was not run by Joel Olstein. Okay, that was too close for comfort. Break this window, and we're gonna see how bad is it. Eh, expected a worse. Oh, never mind. The front doors are locked, so apparently this place might have been one of Joel Steen's churches. <laughs> I 
I can't wait for uh, build 42 so I can start seeing hordes like stack up on the chain link fences and you know the fence eventually just like crumbles or falls eventually because of the uh, the weight and also all the mods just break. <laughs> you gotta wait for them to be updated or some just abandoned because that's how modding goes. I've got the fence technique down now. Maybe. I'm still not sure about it. After all, it's what got one of my previous characters killed. Head down this way. I'll also check out some of the houses I didn't uh, have time to loot. That is another survivor home. That's. Cool, we're gonna check that out first, instead. <laughs> I'll just take one of these belts, because I believe if I don't find a rifle sling, I can grind my way up to uh, tailoring level 2 and then just craft one. Well... I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait for the cavalry to roll in, huh? Come on, come get dinner, or lunch, something. I don't know, it's two in the afternoon, like. Let's party here. Hang on, have I? Oh shit! I've become desensitized. That's unexpected, but a welcome. A welcome sight. All right. Sweet. That's great. Well, that's going to help out massively. I didn't expect to get so lucky, considering that the I have that chance set pretty fucking low. But yeah. Great. Well. Now we no longer have to worry about panicking at the sight of zombies. Sensitized after on our 11th day in the apocalypse 700 kills didn't expect to get that far but hey here we are considering it took a whole month for my last character to get desensitized I thought this would have been a lot more action-packed but eh you know what can you do Maybe if we go to, like, uh, another town, like Ekron, there will be a, a higher population. Since I do plan on going to Ekron at some point. You know, just so I can get the, um, hit up the hunting supply store. Because I do love my guns and my ammo. Nothing. Oh, oh. Uh, dip, bit. Protect yourself. That is a uh, that allows us to make shields, which uh, you know, very encumbering but protective. God damn it. Why would you highlight it green if you're not going to fucking... Was it the pants? It was probably the pants. I'll worry about that later. Hmm... No. Surprisingly. So what was it? Might have been the boots. Uh, it was my jacket. Damn it. Well, now I'm annoyed. You put a hole in my fucking jacket. Which is so uncool, bro. Oh, 
Oh, hey. That's another survivor house. We'll get around to looting these places. At some point. And is that another survivor house? Jesus. We will unbarricade this door. Huh. Oh, you're not dead. Cool. That's a dash buck. Ah. Well. And of course the door is fucking locked. Alright, we'll take it. As much as I love the wild raccoons leather jacket, it's kind of just, you know. I suppose I could just rip it up. Yeah, I'm gonna rip it up. I mean, this is good, you know? We're exploring the neighborhood and learning. Learning new things. Even though I probably shouldn't be exploring the neighborhood when I've got two bars of encumbrance. Over encumbrance. So. Eh. Eh. Carelessness is complacence, but whatever. We'll be fine. If we need be, we can just drop some shit. Come back for it later. <laughs> Tired and over encumbered, still one shot a fucker. Alright, we are two bars of tired, and we have no food on us. So yeah, we need to... We just need to go now, because we are... We're pushing our luck. I will try at least one more time to try and upgrade my large backpack. And if I can't, then I'm just gonna say fuck it, and we'll just do what we can. Oh, oh, now it gives me the fucking ability to upgrade out the Alice pack. Fucking. Mm. Let's upgrade it. Because I do need more encumbrance reduction and more space and whatnot. So there we go. Alice pack tier one. I'm going to equip it on my back. There we go. Now we have all this space. Now we will sleep. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff into the truck. It's an eerie noise. Like, some very eerie ambiance. Dude, I can tell you, as someone who loves foggy weather, it never sounds like this when it's like foggy outside, alright, man? Like, it doesn't sound that creepy. Kind of making me nervous. This eerie shit. Like you're making me think I'm in Silent Hill now. And yeah, this is full. Alright. I think I'd prefer to wait for this fog to clear, but... Eh... Alright, here we are. Oh 
home sweet home. In fact, I'm gonna close these curtains just for safety. Don't want anyone getting any bright ideas. And I can also take the uh, the sheets off my uh, doors at home and put them on the doors in here. So, yeah. And then we'll uh, barricade the windows and this place will really be a home. We're, uh, we're moving on up in the world. Also, apparently, we have the means of upgrading these Alice, both of these packs. So you know what? I think I'll do that. Make things a bit easier for us, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. So I'm going to rename this... Main bag. There we go. So I will say... I like this room. The red walls and the black floor and... Stuff like that. This is gonna be my room. Yeah. Yeah, cheat. There we go. So... I'm thinking this bedroom should be the gun room. Yeah, we'll make this bedroom the gun room. So we're gonna grab... All the stuff in this, empty it out, and we're gonna start storing guns and ammo in there. You know, as many as we can get in there for the time being. Bam. All right. We're doing good. You know, I expected to uh, die a lot sooner. <laughs> rather than later, but, you know... I'm doing good. Doing better than I expected. It's just... It's really nice. You know, actually. I suppose I could go and grab my... other cars. And we'll just, uh... fight zombies on the way. Hey, pal. Bye, pal. Did some looking around on the internet. Uh, for military ponchos, as you do, <laughs> well, as I do, and I found a military, found some military ponchos on like a army surplus, uh, website, and <laughs> these things are fucking expensive. Well, forty bucks expensive, so it's not that expensive. Like, you know, yeah, whatever. I'm not dead. Oh my god, it's raining. For once. In game. This is the first time it has rained on this save. Take generator. Boom. <laughs> Alright. It's kind of scuffed, but like... We can work on that. Uh, I'll, I'll finish looting the um, neighborhood, and then I will call it when I'm done. Fuck, you kidding me? There's a sec. I just found a second AK-47.
think that is all of the houses that I have an interest in. So, let's head home to our new home. All right, so, I think after having cleared the, <laughs> uh, mostly cleared the neighborhood, as well as looting all of the, um, uh, survivor homes in the neighborhood, and also putting all the ammo and whatnot into the, uh, weapons room. I'm gonna call it there. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a good time. If you want to catch more of my content like this, since I do have a very... I, I kind of just upload whenever I feel like it. So, if you want to catch my uploads, be sure to subscribe so you can, uh... Well... Catch my videos if you love them. If... Well, not love them. Whatever. <laughs> I hope you all have a good time.